Reed Hall is arguably the most famous building on campus. It is certainly one of the oldest. A wealthy Southerner, William Gibbons, built the magnificent T-shaped mansion in the mid-1830s, more than 180 years ago. His son, who fought for the Confederacy in the Civil War and lost most of the family fortune in the process, sold the property to Daniel Drew in 1867, who then gave it to the Methodist Episcopal Church as a gift, a turning point in the history of the building. And yet, the former mansion still has its mysteries. People often report hearing footsteps when no one else should be there. Security officers have heard doors slamming at night when there is no apparent breeze. A student was once waiting down in the basement. She felt a tap on her shoulder. When she turned around, no one was there, but there was absolutely nowhere to hide. Then there are the apparitions of a lady. There have been sightings of a woman in white on stairways and in hallways. When a fire engulfed the building in late August 1989, two Madison firefighters saw a woman in the blaze. When they attempted to rescue her, she was nowhere to be found. Who was she? Many say that it was Roxana Mee Drew, Daniel Drew's wife. The stern eyes in her portrait seem to follow you whenever you are near her. But could it not be one of the earlier inhabitants? William Gibbons, his wife, son, or one of three daughters? Several of them died before the founding of Drew Theological Seminary in 1867, quite likely within the house itself. And what about the family's dozen or so house servants? Former slaves brought up from Gibbons's plantations in Savannah, Georgia. Most of them probably lived in the lowest level of the mansion. Perhaps one of these individuals haunts Mead Hall. Nice.